Uh, this is July, co-founder and CEO of Netty R. Today, I'm joined by a very special collection and the the man behind it. Uh, this is a uh, vending machine NFTs. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself and uh, talk about the project a little bit. Yes, sir. Hi, July. How you doing? Hello, Good. everybody. Um, I am Aza, um, project owner for the vending machines NFT. Um, I am a IT enthusiast since I was young, but um, I'm a businessman. So in this project, it's more so I'm taking a business approach. I'm not a dev or no art, not the artist, but I'm a businessman. And the idea of the vending machines was to start a community online or more so a business entity on the blockchain. Um, as we know, many projects you, you get in uh, and then usually up to the mint, there's a lot of hype. But as soon as the mint happens, it's ghost town, right? Everybody's yeah. gone. And, and what I really wanted to change, when I, once I got the NFTs, I really wanted to change that. So for us, our project started on a mint day. And, uh, and the whole idea of it being a business entity, uh, we're not a PFP project. Uh, we're not like an NFT staking project. We're more so of a community project. So whoever uh, mints, they are like uh, investors, right? So okay. they, they're going to own part of the community. And everything we do after that, they will always be benefiting from this. So we have already dropped a few more uh, NFT projects and all the vending machine holders, they got it for free. So our idea was to establish the uh, entity on the blockchain, the vending machine community, do projects together because our main goal is the metaverse. And I know this word has been thrown around a lot. A lot of people talk about it, but what we are doing is we're building a real metaverse on the Avalanche network. Avalanche network does not have the metaverse like Ethereum, yep. Sandbox, Decentraland. <clears throat> so that's what we bring into the Avalanche. And our metaverse is not going to, because our gallery is also a metaverse, right? But what we're building is actual metaverse and, and we're not giving an experience in it. We are actually giving the ownership of the metaverse to our vending machine holders, right? sticking to the idea of us being a business entity and, and the mint money is being used for that. So they own it. And once they own that land, there's going to be a tool like Sims or AutoCAD where it will have items like door, tree and stuff like that, where they'll be able to put it on their terrains and build whatever they want, right? They can build a gallery, they can build an amusement park. They yeah. can build a game if they would like. So that's our whole idea. And wow, and it's a big project. And it's already started. We hired a company called Main Leaf. They have 12 years of experience in uh, Unity game designing and metaverse games. So they're building it. And while it's going on, we are doing more and more projects. And um, so all the vending machine holders are always going to get free airdrops and always benefit from everything we do. That's amazing. So, so like breaking it down, uh, having the vending machine NFT, it's basically like a membership, right? It's, Correct. Right. And Correct. where did the like a, uh -huh. Yep. It's, it's like a membership and a key. Basically, um, so again, as I'm not an artist, <clears throat> I know people are excited about the pictures and different rarities of them. I personally look past that, right? I look at the wallet and the person yeah. holding it. So vending machine is like a placeholder, right? If you're holding vending machine, now I know which wallet is holding it. I know which wallet to drop, right? So I can control it. So this is, yes, this is the key. It's more like a membership. It's like, a. so I used to own vending machines myself in real world. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tie up the story. How did it get? Correct, correct. So, uh, but, but when I was 24 or so, I used to have four vending machines in our city and I'll go collect the coins and stuff like that. And I used to pay for my car, right? It was a passive income. But also thinking about vending, Back in 1800s, you could vend a postcard. Nowadays, you can even vend a car, right? Through Carvana. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You can vend anything you want. So that was the whole idea of putting these two together. The vending machine being the passive income and the vending machine being able to vend items, whatever you want. Um, our vending machines display things like buy NFTs now, buy coins now. And inside of them, we have the logos of the coins and we have clothes and all kinds of items. This was to showcase that we want to utilize our vending machines as a marketplace in the yep. metaverse where you can go inside of it and purchase whether you want NFTs or coins or anything like that. So basically, we want it to serve as a marketplace 
and somehow generate income for our holders. And uh, talk to me about uh, how many NFTs are there in total? Yep, so vending machines are very limited collection. They are 4,444 only. Uh, they are at two AVAX on the Avalanche Network. Uh, another reason why we chose the Avalanche Network was <clears throat> it is a very fast uh, network, right? So, but besides that, it is two things, or three things actually. One, ecologically, it's very environment, it's very good for the environment. Okay. Plus, it's very good for your wallet because the yeah. gas fees are very, very cheap. You're talking about pennies, max, maybe a dollar or two. And the third thing is, yes, there are other chains that are also fast and cheap. However, Avalanche has what no other chain has, which is scalability. Avalanche has subnets, which allows you to create a mini blockchain for yourself okay. to, to, right, to scale the gas fees and stuff like that. You can even utilize your own coin as a gas fee. But that, that possibility is bringing a lot of smart and dedicated devs to Avalanche Network. So that's why we love that. So we are, that's what we're developing on Avalanche Network. So there are 4,444. And the reason for it to be uh, such a small number, not 10,000, is because, as I said, we wanted to form a community and we will always be airdropping for free. So, so for example, uh, we have already done BM Gorillas NFT. Okay. They have been already airdropped to our members. Play to earn game around that is coming up within two weeks. Okay. And it's going to be an interactive game where yeah. a gorilla will be jumping around, collecting coins, you know, jumping over the obstacles yeah. and stuff like that, <clears throat> like a Donkey Kong or Mario. And once they collect the coins, then they can swap it to another tokenomics token and stuff like that. So we brought VM Gorillas. We have also made a VM Hats NFT. Also, again, dropped, and, and it's not a free mint, right? Avalanche is so cheap, it allows me to airdrop it. It costs me maybe two, $3,000 when I drop the collection, but that's no problem, right? So uh, <clears throat> for free, no free mint, just free. Uh, the hats, <clears throat> we are already working with a campfire.exchange website where okay. uh, our members will be able to stake it and earn passive income on it. Also, uh, the third thing we did was VM Comics. Uh, we started the comics on Avalanche Network. <clears throat> And if I may actually, this is a very much community-based uh, project. When I talk about the hats and the comics NFT, the, the people who draw that, who worked on it, they are community members. They actually mint it, join the Discord. I start talking to them and I'm always open for to work with them. So I always say, what can you do? What do you want to do? So one guy, he drew the hat. Uh, it's not the best art, but I'm proud because it's our own member. And 10% uh, of the mint sales are going to go to him rewarded thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. Yes, yeah. sir. And the comics, uh, same way, guy minted, he joined us, started talking to him. Turns out he has a studio and he does comic books. Said, Let's do something. <laughs> so we already dropped our first one, our first edition. And the second edition is coming up, um, I want to say three weeks and it's going to be crazy. It's going to be animated. So a little bit of alpha that's, right there. That, that, that's really good. And for folks yep. that are watching this, uh, we're going to be able to provide all the links uh, down below in the description, you know, just for you to learn more about the different projects. We also in Netty Art uh, did a great article about vending machine, and we basically also covered what it takes to create an avalanche wallet and to just begin the process. Um, one thing that really shocked me when I was like looking into your collection was I noticed that you guys build your own marketplace and everything, right? Like, yes. Yeah, so with amazing. all, yeah, with all our collections, uh, we share royalty. So from the secondary market, whatever is sold value, that royalty, half of it is shared with our members on all our collections. So right now the volume is lower, but as we keep building, the volume is going to go up. And yeah, that's yeah. also another thing. That's also a side bonus of passive income for the holders forever, as long as that's what blockchain allows. And to be able to share the royalties, we had to build our own marketplace. So yes, we do have our own marketplace. All our collections are listed there. So everyone can go to one place and view, buy, trade our NFTs. Yeah, that's that's very impressive because, um, you know, the the only other project that I knew that had something like that, like at launch was like Lava Labs, right? And yep. everyone else, you know, it's usually on OpenSea or or they're doing yep. something and, you know, minting on their website, but there, there's no marketplace trading on their Correct. actual platform. So kudos to you guys. One of the things that, you know, um, I look at personally, like when I'm looking at a collection, 
is, you know, how's the community and how long have guys been doing things? And, you know, when I'm looking at you guys and, and how you see like, okay, this is just the beginning of this and there's growth and you continue to work on it. I love that because a lot of, a lot of folks uh, that what they don't understand is when they see a successful project, you hear about, right, Board Ape, or you hear about this, or you hear about that. A lot of times because they're either new, they think that's where it started. Yeah. And, and they don't realize that a lot of these successful projects they were very low. It took time, yeah. you know, yeah. to, to build the community and kudos to the, the, the founders and the creators and, and the community involved that continues to work on it. Cause I see this all the time. People are, are thinking something comes out and there's giant hype. And, and, and when, whenever you get that, you know, you don't actually know the team. So yeah. again, just congratulations to your team for continuously working. And in many regards, you guys are like really advanced on some other spectrum, you yes. know, of your own marketplace and all that. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I just wanted to point that out there. So talk to me about, uh, I know you said you're gonna have a collection coming out, but can you talk to me about like what's happening maybe this week, next week and, and, and going into the future, almost like the roadmap of that? Yeah, definitely. So the, the Gorillas game is coming out. Um, I am going to have my final call with the dev tomorrow. And then we're going to deploy the contracts and stuff like that. The, the demo of the game is already out. People can nice. try the demo. Nice. But uh, probably within 10 days or so, we are going to launch the, the play to earn part of it. So people can start earning that. So the VM Gorilla game is coming out within, I want to say, 10 days. Uh, the, the comics second edition. I want to say maybe within three weeks that will be out. Yep. Nice. And um, I also wanted to mention also uh, in the near future, what we're going to do is, uh, well, on 5th, uh, on 6th, I'm sorry, this Friday, our vending machines are going to be displayed on, in, on the Times Square. So we are nice. very excited and very happy. We have a few people, a few of folks from the community coming over as far as from Tennessee and stuff like that. There's some of them live in New York City. So we have that going on. So we'll have a little party there. And also in, in, in the next couple of weeks, um, we as a vending machine, also as a community, we are uh, big about donation. We're big about giving back to, to unfortunate people. And we have chosen buildon.org as, as an organization that we want to uh, donate with. Buildon.org builds schools with crypto in, 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 a, in a unfortunate countries and stuff like that. So like third world we have world. already donated... Yes, sir. We have already donated eight thousand dollars to them. So, uh, next couple of weeks, we are going to put up a vote in our community to choose in which country we want to build it. Nice. So, once we decide uh, where we want to build it, we're going to do the rest of the donation because it costs about thirty-six thousand dollars for one school. We're going to donate the rest and start our process of building a school. What I really loved about that is um, when I wanted to make a donation, you know, I was thinking I had to be very diligent because community is money. At yeah. the same time, I wanted to make sure it actually goes to something, right? A lot of charities, right? 80% is the expense, right? They just yeah, need yeah, that yeah. money. But here, what I love is it's going to be a physical building that is going to stand there for years to come and That's educate a, a lot of children, yeah, yeah. right? And benefit a lot of the children. Also, uh, our community members can participate in the building process. So when that building starts, uh, we're going to vote and then get some volunteers. Uh, we'll pay for them to go out there, participate, and lay a brick on it. So we put our foundation on it. And really, you know, July, down the line, a year, two, three years from now on, you might travel to that country with your family or whatnot. You can take yeah, a picture yeah. with that school, right, and be proud that you, you build that. So, so vote for that is coming up as well in, in which country we want to build it. Absolutely. Um, uh, to wrap it up, I just want to put out there uh, for anyone that likes, subscribes, and shares this, uh, they're going to uh, win a chance to basically get a vending machine NFT. It's going to be provided from us. Uh, we'll take care of that on that end. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited. And honestly, man, I think this should be the first discussion that we're having. Um, and I can't wait to hear more. And definitely when the game is out, you know, hit us up and let's jump on another call. Uh, and definitely, you know, uh, tell the community, you know, what you're working on and all that. So thank you so much for your time and all that.
Thank you, too. Appreciate it a lot. And uh, yeah, come check us out. Come join us at Discord. We'll be glad to uh, answer all your questions. Absolutely. And again, I'm putting all the links down below in the description uh, for you guys to reach out to Vending Machine NFT and be able to purchase any of their other NFTs. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, July. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone.